Memphis was going to start unprecedented revival in this place. I mean, let it start today. Today's August 1st. You might as well let Jesus take control. You might as well let Jesus take control. said that she went out one day and the gleaners, the reapers, they knew how to farm, they knew how to get the wheat, they knew how to do what they needed to do. She didn't have any land, she didn't have those skills. Eventually she figured out, I could go behind them and I could pick up some of the grain. And she was even told, or they were even told, leave some of the grain for her. And she realized maybe even they wouldn't cut the corners and she could get some out of the edges of the corners. But she did that because the Bible said she went and sat with the reapers. She went and sat with people who had the skill for what she needed in her life. Now some of us here today are new at this thing spiritually. We just got saved. We just started coming to church. We just started praying. Maybe we're not that far along yet. We pray for five minutes and we wonder, how can I pray any longer? This is what I am challenging you to do today even in these next few minutes. The Bible said that she went and sat with the reapers and she picked up some things from those reapers that would help her. When you see somebody that you know knows how to pray, knows how to worship, I'm challenging you in this next song, maybe go over there and stand beside them. If you see somebody worshiping strong, somebody praying strong, and you say, you know, I'm not there yet. I'm new with this. I can't really pick that up. But I want to so bad. I want to be a worshiper. I want to be a prayer warrior. I want to be able to have a one-hour prayer meeting with Jesus and be able to just bask in his glory like I see that person do. So if you see somebody stepping out and they're praying, they're worshiping, and you say, that's what I want. I want to be like that. Why don't you take a moment and sit with the reaper, stand with the reaper, pray with the reaper. Somebody that knows how to pray, somebody that knows how to worship, and goes just stand next to him. I promise you, you'll begin to feel that anointing. You'll begin to feel that Holy Ghost, and it'll make you say, hey, I can pray for 10 minutes this time. I can pray for 15 minutes. I can worship a little bit stronger than I used to. If anybody needs prayer, you can come down for prayer. But this whole room is a prayer room. The Bible said that my house will be called a house of prayer. Sometimes we miss that. This is, if it's nothing else, it's a house of prayer. It's a place for people to come and to connect with God. So while they're singing and playing, you want to come down front and receive prayer, or if you want to come and stand or sit, kneel with one of the gleaners, one of the reapers, somebody that you know know how to pray and worship, do that right now. When I